Well, organizers are offering free trips through the Umpqua Valley Festival of Lights after some light displays went dark. But as KEZI 9 News reporter Evita Garza shows us, some visitors say they don't mind paying again. David Goff has visited the Umpqua Valley Festival of Lights his entire life. Now it's become a tradition for him and his son. I mean, it's cool seeing something so mm -hmm. lifelike around here. I mean, you don't get a lot of anything around here because it's such a sm small area. Goff says he drove through on Sunday night, and that's when he noticed something different. I mean, uh, there's a like issue with maybe one or two attractions. Other than that, it was fantastic. Organizers say they had a series of breaker failures, which caused some light displays to turn off. They're not sure how the outages happened, but they say they weren't notified until Sunday after closing. Organizers say more than 25,000 people drive through this road to see these light displays each year. Some of these displays are really old. That's why crews are prioritizing their maintenance to make sure the lights don't go out again. Organizers say they light more than 90 displays every holiday season. They have 10 crew members working throughout the day. This week, they say crews will be focused on fixing the broken breakers for future visitors. Normal wear and tear takes time to, to replace because we want a super high quality event every year all the time. The Festival of Lights runs through January 1st. It costs $10 to drive through Monday through Friday. If you were one of those visitors who drove through the outages, organizers say you can contact them through their Facebook page to arrange a free trip. But Goff says he doesn't mind paying again. I, would, I just think all of it in general, just the joy, the happiness, the magic of everything. Instead, he sees the outages as an excuse to drive through again to experience the magic of the festival. In Roseburg, Avita Garza, KEZI, 9 News.